Being here at the Way Center with the disability program has been a tremendous experience. I'm Nancy Witters. I'm the lead yoga teacher here at the Way Center. Yes, warrior. Well, I, I think that that the the work that we've done here in the last nine or ten months does speak to what the essence of yoga is. Hi, and Beautiful. That yoga isn't just about the physical pose. You learn about the body through the mind, and when the mind and the body come together, that's when you get to know your soul. This experience with adaptive yoga and, and teaching adaptive yoga to this group of students has really taught me how to stay very real and very present and um, very true. Most of our students were, I believe, above 40s. And um, they came from a world, specifically from a world that there's a lot of suffering, a lot of pain. You know, one thing that I learned was that, um, you know, they really sensed it and experienced it, the breathing part of an exercise. When you apply the breath work in an exercise, then you're really doing mind-body work. Hello, my name is Della Moses Walker, and I am a person who is very grateful to be here at the Way Center. The Way Center has helped me to adapt to life after brain injury. Um, I used to be a um, very confident person, uh, both personally and in business, before I had my stroke. And I found that that wasn't quite the case after the stroke. Mm -hmm. Yoga has helped my overall physical and mental health well-being. The meditation I wasn't too sure about. I was a skeptic when I first came. Stop, look, listen. I'd heard about meditation and I talked with people who um, had recommended that I you know, meditate through the years, but I could never quite figure out how to do that. My name is Jeff Kushner. I've been um, studying meditation or practicing meditation uh, for about 15 years. The meditations that we've worked with have included both silent meditation periods as well as a lot of visualization, other kind of meditations, uh, chanting, uh, use of music, use of a s sense of smell, aromatherapy. In addition to the meditation, there is quite a bit of discussion that takes place. But there's a silence in my brain because my brain no longer does that. Uh, Dave Maraconda. Uh, I had a stroke about five years ago and have been working hard to try and recover since. Um, prior to the stroke, I ran data centers for a variety of companies, ADP being one, AIG being another, uh, and I was living the good life. Hi, I'm John McLean. I'm a uh, um, stroke survivor and actually was a, um, had an aneurysm, but um, now I'm um, doing a lot better. Um, this, this program has been very um, instrumental in my growth and I feel that it has 
helped me find myself th um, through the yoga and the um, meditations, something that I really never thought about doing, but um, I'm thankful that I was able to experience that. better at walking. When I first started the program, I was constantly in a wheelchair. Uh, Ten months later now, I'm walking around pretty much with a cane, sometimes without my AFO, my brace on my foot. Uh, these are things I wouldn't even have thought about before starting this. When I came to this program, I was very skeptical at first. I almost thought it would be comical, funny. Uh, I didn't expect any of it to be real, any of it to be functional, anything would work. Uh, I don't want to say mystical or I don't want to say spiritual, but it's taught me to not turn my back or close my eyes to other things, that other things are possible. It doesn't all have to be scientific. It doesn't have to all be in black and white. There are some things that can change you or make you feel better that aren't easily explained. And I think there's, you know, we, we've just touched a little bit on the power of the mind through meditation and whatnot and the yoga. And I think that that's kind of opened a whole new doorway for me. My name is uh, Dave Maraconda. Uh, I had a stroke about five years ago and have been working hard to try and recover since. Uh, prior to the stroke, I ran data centers for a variety of companies, ADP being one, AIG being another, uh, and I was living the good life. When I came to this program, I was very skeptical at first. I almost thought it would be comical, funny. Uh, I didn't expect any of it to be real, any of it to be functional, anything would work. Uh, since I've been through it now, it's on 10 months, uh, I've been very shocked. I've gotten better at walking. When I first started the program, I was constantly in a wheelchair. Uh, Ten months later now, I'm walking around pretty much with a cane, sometimes without my AFO, my brace on my foot. Uh, these are things I wouldn't even have thought about before starting this. Okay, the biggest change probably I've gone through in the program, and I don't mean it to sound silly, but it's to become a more spiritual type person. I've, I've definitely calmed down uh, as far as what bothers me or how I let things bother and affect me. Uh, and what happens is I've, I've begun to look a little more into the holistic, a little more into alternative medicines, a little more into, it's opened up a whole new realm for where I should go. Things that I would have thought were silly prior to this program. So from this, it's really opened up a whole new part of me as looking into things and stuff. I don't want to say mystical or I don't want to say spiritual, but it's taught me to not turn my back or close my eyes to other things, that other things are possible. It doesn't all have to be scientific. It doesn't have to all be in black and white. There are some things that can change you or make you feel better that aren't easily explained. And I think, there's, you know, we, we've just touched a little bit on the power of the mind through meditation and whatnot and the yoga. And I think that that's kind of opened a whole new doorway for me.
My experience here was fabulous. Much more exciting than I thought it was going to be. I really didn't know when I came um, what I was going to find, particularly in the meditation piece. I'd been looking for a yoga program for people with disabilities since I'd had my stroke in 02 and hadn't found anything that was accommodating or um, that I could do at my pace or have instructors that knew how to work with people with limitations. The yoga has helped my overall physical and mental health well-being. The meditation I wasn't too sure about. I was a skeptic when I first came. I had heard about meditation and I talked with people who um, had recommended that I you know, meditate through the years, but I could never quite figure out how to do that. So I was pleasantly surprised that after about a month here, I was actually kind of understanding and making progress. I used to be a um, very confident person, uh, both personally and in business, before I had my stroke. And I found that that wasn't quite the case after the stroke. But um, coming here and being with other people with disabilities and seeing that they're I'm not so different uh, has given me enough confidence that I decided to stay in my apartment. I should preface that by saying that about just about a year ago before I joined the program, um, I was thinking about giving up my apartment and um, I don't know where I was going to go, but I was confident enough to stay there and take care of myself, but now that's changed drastically. Hello, my name is Della Moses Walker, and I am a person who is very grateful to be here at the Way Center. The Way Center has helped me to adapt to life after brain injury and realize that I, I can make it with adaptations. Uh, the adaptations that I have learned, uh, number one, accepting the fact that I can't do everything I used to do, but with help, I can adaptively do just as well, if not better. The biggest, biggest, ever so biggest change that I am ever so grateful for, that my speech has improved greatly since um, I've been coming to the Way Center. Prior to coming here, I was stuttering, I had word-finding difficulties, which I, I still have a few, but it's not as noticeable, and the things I say now aren't as way off base as they used to be. I can get those things out eventually, and I'm like I'm trying to say something to you now, <laughs> uh, to express how how this is, it's just been wonderful. The yoga and meditation is, is just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Being here at the Way Center with the disability program has been a tremendous experience. It's a different type of yoga or a different setup of yoga as well as different type of yoga than the normal yoga that I've been teaching. Most of our students were, I believe, above 40s and um, they came from a world, specifically from a world that there's a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, what they went through. So um, with that, what they already had, they came as matured students. And um, I realized that, you know, just showing them simplicity of yoga, what it really did to them, what they took from a little bit and applied it in their whole in their whole living. You know, one thing that I learned was that, um, you know, they really sensed it and experienced it, the breathing part of an exercise. When you apply the breath work in an exercise, then you're really doing mind-body work. You know, I wasn't surprised 
towards the end what they could do because of their background where they come from and also when you work hard you're going to come to this point one day and they did that well it's nice to um it's nice to be interviewed and uh, given an opportunity to talk about my experiences you know, as uh, teaching this meditation at the Way Center. Um, my name is Jeff Kushner. Uh, when I'm not teaching the meditation at the Way Center, I reside in Montclair, New Jersey, and I'm an attorney by profession. I've been um, studying meditation or practicing meditation uh, for about 15 years. The meditations that we've worked with have included both silent meditation periods as well as a lot of visualization, other kind of meditations, uh, chanting, uh, use of music, use of a uh, sense of smell, aromatherapy. Um, there's just been a wide range of experiences. And I think what, um, what struck me is, in addition to the meditation, there is quite a bit of discussion that takes place. Um, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of discussion about the meditation and how it affects people and so forth. So it's kind of like a looping thing. Um, there's meditation, and there's the practice of meditation, and then there's a lot of discussion about the practice. And that discussion has really, I think, been very opening. I'm Nancy Witters. I'm the lead yoga teacher here at the Way Center. The work that we've done here in the last nine or ten months does speak to what the essence of yoga is and that yoga isn't just about the physical pose and that's really a lot of what's happened in this country is that yoga has become fitness. You know, yoga master BKS Iyengar says when you you learn about the body through the mind, and when the mind and the body come together, that's when you get to know your soul. And I think that we've all um, gotten to know our souls a little bit in the last nine months. When you open your heart, you open yourself up to, to joy, certainly, but you also open yourself up to deep sorrow as well, and that the two have to come together. Because that's the essence of being vulnerable. And you can't do this work unless you're willing to be very real and very vulnerable.